Hey, what is up, guys? It is Card Shuffler99 here, and today Robert is going to show you guys a pretty cool card trick. I think this is a great one, uh, so I really hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, it's definitely a very practical card trick, and you know, I think once you guys uh, you know figure out how it's done, you guys are really going to enjoy performing this one. So. Uh, make sure to check out our Instagram, cardshuffler underscore 99. Our Twitter is cardshuffler99. If you guys have any questions for us, feel free to email us at cardshuffler99 at gmail.com or you can always comment them down below. Uh, we are actually going to have all that information down in the description box below. That's right, we are actually going to be updating our description boxes now. Um, if you guys are looking for some free playing cards or some free gift cards, um, there will be a link down in the description where you guys can go to free my apps. Just click the link in the description. You just install some apps, get some points, and redeem it with gift cards. So, anyway, without wasting any more time, why don't we get into the card trick? So, Adam, I'm going to go ahead, riffle down through the cards, and whenever you like, you can say stop, and we're going to make two piles. Ready? Okay. There. Here, are you sure? Yes. All right, right there. So you start with wherever you would like. Now, Adam, what you're going to do is you're going to take each individual pile and shuffle them separately. All okay. right. So shuffle this pile, then shuffle this pile. Once you're satisfied with your shuffling, you can go ahead, go through each pile, take any random card, and flip it face up. So put one face up in that pile and one face up in that pile. I'm going to go ahead, turn around, and you can do that. Okay. So I'm going to take each individual packet. I'm going to give these a quick shuffle, make sure these are to my liking. Got to make sure there's no setup here. Let's keep it going here. Okay. All right. We just got to, you know, we just got to make sure uh, there's, no, there's no setup. You know, you got to shuffle the deck as well as you can. Okay, so I'll go ahead and go through. We'll take a random face-up card. Let's go, with the, let's go with this one right there. Everybody got that right there? Okay. And let's take another one here. Let's go for this one. Okay. Everybody got that? All right, I'm done. All right, you're done? Yes. So what you're going to do is take either of the piles, Okay. Right, flip it face up. Okay. And then you're going to shuffle them face up in the face down. And then once you're finished doing that, you can shuffle the cards normal. Just like normal rhythm. Okay, so I do so I do a riffle shuffle. Yeah. And then I can shuffle these as many times as I want. Yeah. Okay. Good shuffle here, guys. Okay, I'm happy. You finished? Actually, no, let's go one more. Alright, just let me know. Alright, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Alright, you good? Yes. Okay. So let's go over what happened. We made two piles. Yes. I turned around. You went through each pile. You flipped over a random card. I was I was in another country, all right? And you flipped over any random card. And then you shuffled them as much as you would like, both piles. And now I'm here. Now, would it be cool if I could use visualization to find out what your card is? Sure. Both, actually. So I'm going to go through, all right? And I'm going to go ahead and look for your card, all right? Ooh. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. That one might be yours. Right there. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and look for another one. Ooh. Ooh, that one. Right there. Actually. No, no, no. No, no. That, that one's not it. That one's not it. Um. Hmm. This is a tough decision. Ah, ah, right there, right there. Two cards. Spoke out to me. Go ahead. I don't even want to touch them. Go ahead. You can flip them over. All right. Uh, my two cards were the Queen of Hearts and the King of Hearts. Oh, they were. There's the Queen of Hearts, and there's the King of Hearts. All right, guys. This is a really cool trick, and let's learn how it's done. Okay, so there is a pretty big setup to this trick and you're gonna have to learn it so you're gonna separate separate the deck into evens and odds so i think uh, i think once robert says that i think everybody's going oh now i got it you know 
Uh, but yeah, it's a pretty genius setup. Now, <coughs> obviously, you guys don't have to use evens and odds. You can always use, um, you can do like prime numbers or you can do any kind of setup you want um, as long as you know how you're separating the cards into kind of half, I guess you would say. Okay, so as you can see here, I have my um, pile separated. All right, evens are over here. All the even cards are over here. All right. And then all of the odd cards are over here. So the odd the odd, odd pile will be a little bit bigger um, because there is an extra odd card because there are 13 cards. There's an extra king, if you want to say, an extra couple cards. So take out the jokers of the deck because if they select that, then you really won't know and it won't really, really make sense. So make sure there are no jokers in your deck. And yeah, after you have your evens and odds, you're going to leave them separate, and you can take one. I usually take the odds, and I put them on top of the evens. Now, from here, this trick is basically self-working, and you'll see why. So, what you're going to do is you're going to take the piles. You're going to place one on top of the other, and you're going to hold a pinky break just like this. All right? Then, just like that, guys, when you're here, you're going to say, I'm going to scroll down. You can stop me whenever you'd like. And you're just going to lift up right on that break, no matter where they stop you. And you're going to separate it into two piles. Now, from here, you can, you can walk away. You can do whatever. But you have to explain these directions to the spectator and make sure they know what they're doing. So, you're going to explain to the spectator. They can go ahead and shuffle up each pile. Now, remember, the order of the evens odds and odds don't matter. So they can actually be shuffled, just not shuffled together yet. So the spectator can go ahead and shuffle the cards. It does not really matter. Give some cuts. They can do whatever they want with both piles. All right. And once they are satisfied with that, you know, their liking, to their liking, you're going to explain, I want you to take out any card and just flip it over and put it somewhere into the middle. So they go ahead, they go through. Now it doesn't really matter. We are doing the tutorial. Flip it over somewhere and just place it down and do it with for both piles now what this does is is now there's a face-up card in each pile and when you say flip it over and give them a riffle shuffle right what's gonna happen is with all the evens there's gonna be one one card or one odd card which they you they flipped over and then with all the odd cards there's gonna be one even card so but when we give it the riffle shuffle all right, all right, just like that. Okay, they can shuffle it as much as they would like. All right, just no more of the flipping over. They can shuffle it anyway. They can give it some cuts. All right, they can do some more riffle shuffles. It actually does not matter. They can shuffle the cards any way they would like, as long as they just don't flip over the cards and mess it up like that. Just make sure they shuffle it normally. So after they're done shuffling, what you can do is pretty simple. Just go through the cards, and you're going to look for the odd card out. Now, here I see a 7, I see a 3. This tells me this is the odd pile. Now, clearly when you're doing this, you're going to turn away from the spectator. And before this, actually make sure you review what happened, you know. So it really seems like it's impossible to know what card they selected. So you're going through. All right, I'm going to let you guys see what I'm looking for. I'm seeing, I'm looking for an even card. I'm going through. Oh, what's this? There's an even card here, right? And I'm going to say, you know, you can keep on going through. It does not exactly matter. And they can go ahead. I don't like to let them see it right away. So I turn it over and I just place it down like that. Now, from here, you have to turn it over. All right. So you go to the other side to find their card. Now, one thing I do like to do is with this second card, I usually like to take out a random card and act like I messed up. So I go through. I just put a random card. I'd be like, ah, oh, I think it's this actually no I don't and I you know I you know I want it to seem like I messed up sort of and then I can go through right and I go ahead and look for that odd card art odd card out look there's the odd card out of all the even cards in this pile and I can go ahead make sure I turn away from the spectator and just like that and then I have predicted the two cards now the cool thing about this trick is after you're done you will be messed with the you know a little bit of a messy pile, if you would like to say. But you can do this trick right in, like, all you have to do is re-separate these cards. And once you're finished separating, all the even cards will be face up through here. And all the odd cards will be there. And you can just simply do the trick again. 
So that is the trick, guys. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you guys enjoyed. And this is Card Shuffler 99. Peace out.